plaintiff, Natasha Bateman, says she and the defendant were good friends, and they remained friends even while they were both incarcerated. Natasha's suing because she loaned the defendant her car, and the defendant loaned it to her boyfriend, who got it impounded. Defendant Sandra Bassett admits that she and Natasha have been friends for a long time, but she claims their friendship has always been one-sided because Natasha is selfish. Sandra feels Natasha is suing the wrong person and her ex-boyfriend should be in court, not her. Start with you. Okay, first and foremost, I want to say that it's an honor and a pleasure to be in your presence today. A um, little bit of background, me and Sandra have been friends since 2007. Um, um, I am glad to say that I'm not the person that I used to be. Um, I'm currently taking a dental assistant class. I graduated in May. Um, me and Sandra, we been through, you know, a lot. I was incarcerated like three years ago for an assault charge. You jumped on somebody? Yes, Tell I did. Tell me what well, happened now. Actually, I'm just curious what happened. <laughs> okay, I'm well. Nosy now. You okay. should have said it. What you My do? kid's father, he had came to my house and he had beat me up. Um, he had another girlfriend at the time. I had company at my house. He was mad because I had company, so he beat me up. Um, so I retaliated and I went and I beat his girlfriend up. So then she retaliated and brought two other girls to my house. Um, mind you, like I said, my kid's father had come to my house and beat me up yeah. three days prior. So I had got a brick, put it in the sock, put it behind the door, and I said that if he was to come back over there and put his hands on me again, that I was going to, you know, hit him with the brick. Just so happened the three girls came. Which on that part? <laughs> was what happened with okay, those? Okay, just happened so happened though? the three girls came to my house. So they ended up catching a brick. You but one the of them ended up... <laughs> <laughs> yes. The but <laughs> it's sad, but it's true. Right. It's, it's sad, but it's true. But they ended up catching a brick instead. A um, little background about me and Sandra. As you can see, she's a very, very pretty girl, but she's very arrogant. Um, so arrogant to the point that sometimes it's hard going out with her. Um, example, one time we went to the club, a guy tried to talk to her, and instead of her just letting him know that she wasn't interested in him, she decides to, you know, head to toe. I know you didn't come over here trying to talk to me with those wrinkled pants, that busted shirt, them busted shoes. Really? I'm, yes. And both of them are intoxicated, so... This thing bad. Or what they call today, read. Yeah, yeah, read. She exactly, read exactly. So both of them is intoxicated, so I literally had to kind of stand in between him to keep him from jumping on Sandra. Okay, like I said, I was incarcerated like three years ago. Sandra missed me so bad that she decided that she wanted to go on a spree. And, yeah... Counterfeit so, checks get, get locked, locked up, up as well. <laughs> exactly. She missed me that bad that she decided she wanted to go get locked up as well. We wasn't in the same jail, but we still kept in contact with each other. I would send letters to my mother. My mother would send them to Sandra. We were both we in right. Tennessee. Yeah. We were both... Well, she was all over the place. She was in Tennessee, Texas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You said she was... You yeah. said she was kiting checks all over the country. Exactly. 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 But our friendship was so strong that we still kept in contact with each other even though we was incarcerated. I would send letters to my mom. Okay. And she would do the same. All right. It doesn't sound like you were that self-destructive. Exactly. Is that the only uh, problem you've had in your life, or what? you've ha had a destructive lifestyle? No, I ain't really had a destructive lifestyle. Um, that is the only trouble right, that good. I've been into. And you say you're now in school? Yes, I'm currently taking a dental assistant class, and I graduated in May. Good. So excited. Congratulations. So. Good. All Thank right. You. Good. Thank you. All right, give me some background on yourself before we get to the car repairs. Uh, well, like she stated, we've been friends a long time, but this whole friendship has been one-sided to me. I, I know that she loves me, but Tasha is a very self-centered, selfish person. For example, um, like when we go out, a guy try to offer me a drink and she'll butt in, well, you gotta go through me to get a drink. <laughs> um, she uses me, my arrogance to get in the club, you know, we cut the line, you know, she uses me in. For another example, um, lies. she has three children. I don't have any kids, and she has big kids as well. So being a friend, I let Natasha and her three kids come stay with me rent-free. I didn't ask her for anything. I didn't ask her for rent, and no, I'm How used to- How long did they stay with you? About three and a half months. Okay. And I'm used to staying by myself, so mm -hmm. my bills are low, utility bills, everything shot up. Mm -hmm. She didn't offer. Mm -hmm. I paid half of the utility bill every really? month. Really? How many no, times? I, every month. Really? And the reason why I went to really? stay at her house is because she, uh, because of the car situation. Right. So I didn't ask you for anything, and is though. is that why you all's friendship is strained over the car? Yes. yes. 
Okay. And tell me about the impounding car repairs. How does she owe you? Okay, so November of 2014, Sandra called me and asked me could she borrow my car. Without my knowledge, she lets her boyfriend drive her car, a guy that I don't, her then boyfriend drive my car, a guy that I don't even get along with. I would not have dared gave him my car keys because I know the type of person he is. This is my only source of transportation. So she what gives him my car. What type of person is he? He's a drug dealer. Doesn't do too well at it. No, he doesn't do too well at it. He so. need to get a career. Yeah, he, well, <laughs> if that's he had not to borrow happen. your car. That's not going to happen anytime soon because he's incarcerated. But okay. she lets him drive my car to Atlanta to pick up drugs on the way I back. I didn't know he was going to do that, so don't It doesn't go there. matter. Mm -hmm. She let him drive my car to Atlanta to pick up drugs. On the way back, the police get behind him. He put the police on a high speed chase. As he's driving, he's throwing drugs out the window. He threw a scale <laughs> out the window. He threw a controlled substance out the window. He threw marijuana out the window. He threw a firearm out the window. In the process, he crashed my car. Man, I wish I was following him. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's how I ended up... That's how I ended up staying with Sandra because I don't have a car now to get my kids to school, to get myself to school, so I had... Because she doesn't wake up. She's like a vampire. She sleeps all day. And she doesn't even pay rent herself, so why should I pay rent when she don't even pay rent? Um, tell me about the incident. Tell me about this uh, broke drug dealer you have. That's, <laughs> well, I'm not with him anymore because of I believe you can situation. do better. I believe you can get a drug I, dealer I'm with some better. real money. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm doing well, better. I got a good man now. Um, uh, well, all right. Hopefully he got some kilos or something. You know? <laughs> he can take care of you. Get some birds. <laughs> Go ahead. Y'all don't know about okay, that. Okay, um... <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Hopefully he's an educated man. He is. Has a skilled trade. He is. Or some form of education that will give him a lasting career that you all could contribute <laughs> uh, to each other. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Tell me, uh, in this instance, though, about this, um... Buster, go ahead. Okay. Well, Natasha did let me use her car. That's correct. But it's been times where we've used her car. My boyfriend has driven her car, and she has known that. You know, like, he'll jump in the driver's Let's seat. Let's start with the fact that you got a drug-dealing boyfriend Ice. who didn't have a car. Well, what was that about? His car was in the shop or some at the time. All Lies. the time. Lies. You just said sometimes she <laughs> would let me, or regularly she would remember. let you use it. <laughs> okay, well, um, I did... I did let him use the car. And I do feel bad about the situation, don't get me wrong, but I don't feel responsible because I did not wreck the car. All right. And the law is, however, if you gave the car to your boyfriend or anyone else without the owner's permission, both of you are liable. And she's able to sue one or the other. It's called, or both. It's called joint and severally. Meaning joint, you're liable together. Severally means you're liable on your own. She can sue either one. And if she can't find him because he's a broke drug dealer who had to go to jail, which is really a shame. <laughs> I hope he told people in jail he was a big time. <laughs> you know he is. They had an agreement. I had nothing to do with their agreement that oh, they okay. had. When did they speak? Um, when it happened. Until he got locked I up. I thought and... you gave him the car. I mean, I did give him the car, but after the accident happened, they talked about him paying no, for the car. We're talking about before the accident. We're talking about who was negligent prior to the accident. And you were negligent by giving the car to him without her permission. Honestly, Whatever was said afterwards, you giving the car to him was negligent. Anything else from me? I mean, it was. I All do right. agree this with you. This new guy got any money? Maybe he can throw you a couple of dollars. <laughs> what does he do? He flips houses. All right, flips houses. Good. Mm-hmm. Any... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, ask her what kind of men Girl, she has. she said, she said, mm -hmm. Excuse me? Yeah. Like, what that's what they call it now? Ask her about my man. Uh, yeah, he's a, a military. I said prior. Okay, well, talk about the one now. Okay, well, prior. Yeah, military. Yeah, good mm -hmm. one. Don't act yeah. like you haven't yeah. had drug dealers as men. It don't matter. That's okay, the past. Well, I'm talking about now. So, why are you being so judgmental, though? What does that have to do with Why are you acting like you never had a drug dealer as a boyfriend? I'm being judgmental because you wrecked her car. Exactly. You and that drug, you and the drug dealer. $4,818 is your judgment. Yay! Um, thank you so much! That was so... You heard him? All right. Judgment for the plaintiff. All right, thank you so much.